microwaves. <laughs> so far, so good. And alcohol cans. We didn't film it, but it's a start. My lovely assistant is with me. Microwave night. Wow, that was quick. What a shitty night. That's it. That is it. Wow. Not impressed. But hey, bulk week was called off, so I think the area we went to tonight actually listened. <laughs> Did get some alcohol containers though. I gotta see if you're in the picture. Get my pop out of the way. There we go. <clears throat> base looks like it's well made. It is. I made it out of wood. <laughs> Two by twos. I'm thinking it might still work. But I need a base for that other one, remember? This chrome steel, one of them bathroom thingies for a shower curtain. Gorgeous day out today. We'll get this guy out of the way. One light. Never seen this type before. I think it's just pushing pin. Yep, that's all it is. So I don't know if there's any brass in this or not. It's got lots of wire in it. We'll figure it out. Okay. That's what we do. We have time to do that. I did some stripping today. I'll show you in a sec. A couple little dinky lights. Yeah, that's right. Trip over the part. Here, sit there, okay? Didn't get a whole lot of vacuums. I think we're the only people out tonight, too. heavy one. It might have a good motor in it. I believe that's what you call a Keurig. They have a nice little motor in them. That's why I took the whole thing. Otherwise I don't generally take coffee pots. But these Keurigs got nice little water pump motors in them. Bike wheel. It is a little 
aluminum, so it'll be easy. I just cut the spokes off from the clean rim. It's extruded aluminum. On Panasonic, I do believe this one's an inverter. Woo! Normally I leave this behind, but there was no other garbage there. I wasn't just going to leave a plate laying on the curb. So this one does not have your typical transformer, the big heavy steel. This one's got the plastic one. This one does. It's pretty heavy. I'm going to lift you up a bit. How's that? Can you see better now? Maybe? Maybe. A little bit of hydro cord. Four microwaves. Complete with plates. <laughs> Crack. In the blue box you go. This thing I thought was maybe brass. This is in there somewhere. Be like Uberism 81, but you never hear about him selling plates anymore either, so I'm kind of wondering if he still does that. So, three of them have transformers, one has an inverter, but at least they all got their cords. And the usual suspects. Not too bad, there should be another piece to you. I threw you in there. Oh, I threw it in here. I think. There it is. I thought maybe it would be brass, but I don't even think so. I think it's just cast aluminum. It's too bad though, it is broken. kind of what it would look like. So I have to take it apart now. A couple of three screws. I thought it was brass because it's got the weight, but it's cast aluminum. Oh well. Can't win them all, right? That's a bonus. So it's a short video tonight. I can hear it already. Oh, hell. Wow. <laughs> what are you going to do, eh? I didn't keep you captive for a half an hour. Always bring a cart. It helps with the appliances. I got a pop over here somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. <clears throat> So needless to say, that's it for tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. I did strip that dishwasher. Turned out that big old dishwasher was uh, stainless steel. A good stainless, you know. That's why I got extra insulation kicking around. It's all from it. Pipe that I got last night and broke it all up. About 
four pounds of number one copper. So yeah, it's the stuff that came out of it. It's in that bucket. That air purifier, that's the motor from it. Cast aluminum shell. That container with a couple valves on it, took them off. This is why I say go after sewing machine motors. See, they're copper. So are the springs for the brushes. And then the brushes themselves, they're inside there. That's brass, and then it looks like a brass bearing right in the middle. And so, there's the other end of it. Copper rotor. I have to take that end off so the rotor will come out. Oh, and uh, that one item had a fan motor that's not a vacuum. Same idea, it was a pump. That was for the dishwasher. That dishwasher, and there's the motor from that dishwasher too. It's also copper. Figured it had to be a very expensive dishwasher. And then uh, it had that motor. It had this motor right here. So, yeah, it had lots of goodies in that dishwasher. <clears throat> and then it's over there by the fire pit. The black thing. I gotta heat it up so that stuff will come off. But it's a good stainless, non sticky. <sighs> time is it? 10 to 6. Holy, we're done early tonight. So that's about it. <clears throat> Alcohol containers. There's actually some pop cans in there too. So, Oh yeah, we found this on the side of the road in front of our house here down the road today. It fell out of somebody's vehicle. So we went along and picked it all up. Such good Samaritans that we are, you know. Clean up the road, it wasn't our mess. But it's gonna end up being our money. Right? Take these guys out. Yeah. And then I can put this back in the truck. <clears throat> it helps. Don't mind me, I got a little <clears throat> I got a little bit of peppermint candy, the powdery stuff stuck in my throat. It happens to me once in a while when I eat peppermints. This wouldn't be a good time to go into a store right now. They'd all be looking at me like I'm sick. Some sick, twisted. Yeah, I'm just pushing these guys up. I do not drink Coke. Everybody knows that. My beverages are blue in color. Pepsi and blue beer. I think I have a... Yeah, there it is. Started, so... Yeah, there's pop cans in here and beer cans. So you gotta go through it. And a water bottle. Oh, the, the bag it came in. So. I don't know what truck it was that lost it, but a big truck hit it. Sounded like it was hailing out. <laughs> Should have heard it. In there. So I'll have to go through that. See the plastic in there. Garbage, but that's fine. And that eave trough was laying on the side of the road. <clears throat> Do I need it? Probably not. See, she loves those chairs. She sits in it all the time. Okay, I'm going to go in and eat. That's pretty much it. No electronics. So four microwaves, a fan, that thing, two vacuums, and the alcohol containers. That was it, wasn't it? Oh yeah, a couple lights. And the coffee maker. 
Not a big score. Tomorrow's the last day of bulk week, so yeah, that's ready to go. See those? Those are the rims you saw me clean up. Took the tires off, and that bathtub is full of stainless and aluminum, so clean. It's nothing dirty in there. The lawn chairs have to be done yet. That's why they're out here. Anything out here has to be done yet. So two buckets of shred pail of garbage then picking up from around the yard like around here because when you break stuff up stuff goes flying right so <clears throat> yeah those two brass taps came off of that thing this old pump here had a wee little piece of brass right here and then it had the two brass taps one there and one there so yes I might still rip them apart yet because I can get them clean cast. He can go in there. That's irony aluminum, this thing, the rotor from the motor. So we'll see. Bulk week stays like this tomorrow too. We don't get much. Then uh, <clears throat> I'll have all this stuff killed off pretty quick. It's a long weekend this weekend. Well, every week's been kind of long, right? <laughs> it's Easter weekend. Good Friday and Easter Sunday, so if the world was normal, it'd be a holiday weekend. Still a holiday weekend, but you know what I mean. So anyways, like, subscribe, and share or not. It's your 16-minute update. We'll see you tomorrow at the curb, or maybe I'll pull the camera out tomorrow morning there while I'm out here stripping. Have a nice evening.